Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, Abby, I, I would like to speak with you. Well, could you give me a few moments, please? We're in the middle of something. We can wait. Go on, have a few words with your young man. Thank you. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Time's a wasting, sweetheart. How could you do that to me? Embarrass me like that? I am in the middle of a point. I'm sorry, I'm an embarrassment. But you remember you're supposed to call me, right? What time is it? It's time to go. Look, the bags are packed. If we go now, we can... What is it? I can't go, Paul. Why? Jake has just put me in charge of the biggest... <sighs> Come on, Abby. You do this every time. My job is important. I have been upfront with you about that from the beginning. So if you were one of those men who... One of those men? My God, Abby, don't make me the enemy. I'm glad you like your job. I'm glad that you have a career and that you're successful. You can't imagine how proud I am of you. But... Oh, right. Here it comes. The but. You always choose it over me. Over us. Every time. You can't tell me I'm wrong, can you? Can you? What are you thinking, Miss Scrooge? I'll, uh, I'll leave the suitcase here. Nobody stays. They say they love you, but they leave you anyway. Goodbye, Abby. I'll always love you. You have to take care of yourself. This is a great idea of yours, Abby. We'll have to bring the Dobsons along. They're a bit old-fashioned about things like this, but we can do that. And if we can't, we'll just roll right over them. I'm making you vice president. You have a great future here, Abby. You and me together. Great future. Looks to me like you cared. You're wrong. That's when I stopped caring about everything. Hmm. You can smell it. The 80s smelled like money. What are you all waiting for, Miss Scrooge? Do you remember? board meeting. Say what? We were waiting for the board meeting to be over. I thought the Dobsons were the board. They decided to take on investors to sell stock in their company. Wonder who gave them that idea? You and Mr. Marley buy or sell some of that stock, did you? All in favor? All opposed? The motion's carried. I'm sorry. Congratulations. Take care of our store, Jake. I'm sorry, FC. No, you're not. You two must have been maneuvering behind our backs for months, years. Why not? You've tripled the store's profits, you and Miss Scrooge. Elizabeth? You always knew how to read the numbers. Thank you, FC. But I promise you it was nothing personal. It's just business. It wasn't just business for us, Abby. Dobson's was our family. We built it up from almost nothing. And we've taken great pride in what we've accomplished. I will miss not coming in here every morning. But you mustn't worry for us. Because this store is not all that we've accomplished in our lives. We have a wonderful family, caring friends, things we love to do. 
each other. Let's go home, Frizzy. Pepe. What happened to that sweet young girl I used to know? Dog eat dog world, Mrs. Dobson. Not her fault. Last year. If this economy doesn't pick up. I know, I know. Still, I bet we did better than the competition. We're gonna make it. We'll survive. <clears throat> Jake? Are you okay? A little indigestion. It's stress, all these renovations. Well, you should see someone about it, but could you please, please wait till we get through tax time? How, uh, could I have some water? How did the employees like their Christmas baskets? Well, I heard some grumbling about it. Not big enough, not enough in it. They're like greedy little children. You know what we're gonna do next year? We're gonna save ourselves all the aggravation, no baskets. I suppose we'll have to give them something new. Almost caught up with yourself, Miss Scrooge. Christmas Eve last year. Do you remember? Remember those old Christmas parties? They were something, weren't they? It's a world gone by, Jake. It's not the way things are done today. Why not? You know why not. Too expensive. I have better things to do with my money. Like what? Like saving it. Jake, what is wrong with you today? I, uh... I don't think I'm very well, Abby. Jake? What? Are you saving it? Four. Mr. Marley is not feeling up to par. Would you please call his office and have a seat? Oh, no. Get help now! Jake, <laughs> take it easy. Ellie. She's got it all now. Dream come true? She feels so lonely. Who does? Boxes, ribbons. You're my next appointment. Wrapping paper. Christmas present, get it? Christmas presents? I'm Christmas present. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I get it, I get it. I'm just not sure I want it. Ooh, boss, you are tough. I've had a rather hard night. Many things to think about. But I suppose you're going to give me some more, aren't you? Well, aren't you? 
Jeez Louise, will you give me a second here? This is the slowest turning. But hey, I'm not complaining, because you know why? I have got a delicate constitution. And if I was spinning too fast, it'd just be... Please. You're right, boss. And when you're right, you're right. Here is the address. And, uh, please, no speeding. I get a little car sick sometimes. Oh. Oh, roll the window down. Roll the window down. It's too cold. Just do it. Oh. Feel that air. Listen to that music. All over the city. Music. Bells. Bells are my favorites. Ring those bells! <laughs> and people singing and laughing and happy. Mmm, and those smells. Evergreen trees and chestnuts roasting and pies baking. I suppose you think I should be baking Christmas pies. You might give it a try, boss. Bake a pie. Sing a song. Wish someone a happy holiday and mean it. We make our own happiness. Right. I suppose he can make his own happiness, too. You might be surprised. Just climb down. <laughs> Good idea, boss. Why have you brought me here? I don't know this place. No, that's right, you don't. Oh. Look at all the decorations. Aren't they beautiful? You've got to be kidding. They don't even have a star for that pathetic excuse for a tree. It's completely depressing. Well, they make the best of what they have. They certainly don't have very much. I think you're wrong about that. Lives here? Martha? Timmy? Mom, what if the turkey gets done before you get back? Well, I don't think it will be, but gee, it's so small it just might. You know, if it is, just take it out of the oven and cover it with foil and I'll be right home. Okay. Be fine. Hey, I could come with you. Maybe I could help. That's such a sweet offer, honey. But I need you to stay here and watch the turkey. Okay? And your brother. She's a mean old prune face to make you come in today. And I hate her. I wish she'd quit. Oh, sweetheart. You mustn't hate her. She's my employer, and it's a good job, and... and if she needs me, she's just mean. Well, I don't think she's intentionally mean. And we're not going to let it ruin our day, right? Tim! Well, where have you been? You look half frozen. Like a popsicle. Oh. That little boy. Oh, you won't get around me like that, mister. Come and sit by the heater, Timmy. But I might melt away. And all this time, I thought you were up in your room. Now, you remember what the doctor said, huh? You're not supposed to be out in weather like this. And all by yourself. You go far, Mom. Just watching the kids skate. Boy, you should see Ricky Jones. He can spin around so fast and around and around and around and around. Oh, we get the idea, Tim. Really fast. You'll be able to do that someday, too. I know. But until then. I brought you something. Ah, bribery. Merry Christmas, Mommy. They're beautiful. You've already given me so many lovely things, all the decorations. Yeah. But I broke the star. You are my star. You both are. <laughs> 